The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. It's been a few days since I've gotten a chance to come up with my sixth video. Uh, my goal is to do 10. Uh, my daughter instructed me so, so I'm going to follow through on the 10. Um, but today, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, or the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything that I need. And a lot of times when people look at that situation, that scripture, we look at it in the context of the good things that we, that we have need of. But there are a lot of people experiencing death during this time. And some people have lost lost ones and, and they are looking for a place of comfort and hope. The Lord is your shepherd and you have everything you need. I remember when my parents passed away, my dad passed away when I was in call, uh, just got graduated from college and got my first job. And because I was in transition to getting papers, I could not even attend his funeral. Uh, I remember going to a training session and watching a movie during lunchtime and I broke down and started crying and I told the instructor, I can't stay at this class anymore. My dad just passed away. And I remember going home and, and just crying that entire day, you know, just the loss of a dad. Had not seen him for many years since I left Liberia and came to college. And then I remember when my mom passed away years ago, I was actually having my morning devotion at home, praying and seeking God. And uh, I got a phone call telling me my mom has had passed away, which was a devastating news. But through it all, God gave me the strength. I remember I was serving uh, a nonprofit through soccer and I came back from uh, the funeral in Liberia. I could have used that opportunity to say, you know what, I need to take a break from this. But through the strength and the power of God, I was able to serve those kids and with even more vigor and passion because it's even during a time of loss, if we connect with the Father and, and keep our, our hands uh, tied in His hands, He can be our shepherd. He can be our strength. Rediscover your purpose in Him. Why were you created? And allow Him to strengthen you during this time of loss and grief because He is the Lord and He is your shepherd, good times, bad times, uh, life, death situations, he can strengthen you to be a light in the midst of darkness, to be an encouragement to others. Yes, this life we live is temporal. Yes, we will grieve when we lose loved ones, but let us not stop living because if we are still breathing, there is a purpose for us, and let's seek that purpose and live it with all passion and strength to the glory of the Lord. I'm encouraged, and as I've been saying the 23rd Psalm, my faith is growing from uh, one level to the next, and I'm just seeking God and looking for His purpose during this time to make a difference in the world we live in and to live and not die because I'm here and I'm alive to declare his works, his purpose, and encourage other people to do the same. So, sorry for the loss of life. I've been through it. It's painful. Grieve. Cry if you need to. But then afterwards, get up. Discover the purpose for which you are alive and live on in the glory of the Lord. Amen.